How's it going everyone? Brian from GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you something called SimFinger. It's a really small application made by the people who made Tweety over at 8-Bit. And what SimFinger does is that if you use the iPhone simulator for developing or if you're someone who just plays around with it because it came with the iPhone SDK, it will install fake applications such as phone, YouTube, things like that into your simulator. You could also change your time and carrier text. And then you can also add a white border around the iPhone simulator so that if you're giving a demo of your product or your application for YouTube or something, it'll look nice and professional. So the first thing you want to do is download SimFinger. Now you could either download it from the direct link in the description or you could find it yourself by opening, opening up your browser going to Google and typing in simfinger.app should be the one all the way on the bottom and then you just click on download and it downloads it's a really small zip file once it downloads you just double click on it to extract it and then you should be left with a .app file with an icon that looks like this white circle now once you do that you need to open up your iPhone simulator Now if this is the first time you've opened your iPhone simulator, all you get is four little icons and carrier as your carrier. So now what you need to do is open SimFinger. Now right when you open it, the iPhone simulator plants itself into the into the SimFinger screen. Now if you look at my cursor, you'll see a little white circle around it. This is so that if you're giving a demonstration, the people viewing it knows where you're tapping because it's supposed to be a simulated finger, hence the name SimFinger. So the first thing we're going to do with it is change the carrier text. You do that by making sure SimFinger is active instead of the simulator, and then go into Control, Set Fake Carrier Text. We're going to make ours AT&T. Once you do that, it's going to tell you that it was changed and you need to restart the simulator to actually see it. So we're going to close out of both SimFinger and the iPhone simulator. I'm going to open up the simulator again. And you'll notice that the carrier changed to AT&T. Now the next thing we're going to do is insert all of the fake applications into the simulator. So we're going to open up SimFinger again, make sure it's active, go to Control, Install Fake Apps shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds then you'll get this box telling you that they were installed and you need to restart for them to actually work so we're going to close out of SimFinger again and the iPhone simulator and then we're going to open up the simulator again now unless you're going to actually do a demonstration right now you don't need to open up SimFinger again so just open up the simulator and you'll see all of the new applications on your springboard now they aren't in any single in the in the in the original order as on an actual iPhone. So you could go ahead and reorganize everything the way it would look on an actual device. Now a good way to figure out what the original looks like is just opening up the SimFinger homepage blog post from 8bits.com. You could just Google SimFinger and it should be the first one. Scroll down about halfway and you'll see an image that shows all of the apps in their proper orders. So you could just drag them to the where they would normally be if this was a real device. And then after the abnormally long process of moving all of your icons into the proper order, this is what you'll get. And then you'll also see your compass icon from 3GS. Now these apps don't actually function the way they would on an iPhone. Like you can't open up the camera and see some sort of video footage or open up weather and look at your weather. Instead, when you open one, you'll see fake app as the title and you'll see the spinner with numbers one or zero through 20. Now what these numbers do is they set the badge for your icon on your uh, springboard. 
So to give a demo of this, we're going to open up mail, and let's say we have 11 unread emails. So we're going to set it to 11, and then go to the home. Oops, I just hit the simulator. We're going to go to home, and then you'll see the badge on the mail icon. You could also do this to other apps that would usually have a badge, such as messages, and maybe your phone for missed calls. And then maybe App Store for new app updates. So that was basically a quick how-to on how to use SimFinger and a little description of all of its features. And that is about it with this, so I'll be seeing you next time.